The best two sides in the tournament finally going head to head. What a final we have in store. Don't go anywhere. All the action coming up next. Hello and welcome. This is a stadium that really resonates with every Australian football fan. We're in Sydney at Stadium Australia. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's decision day here at the 2023 World Cup. The final stands before us. It's Spain against England. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's the lineup for Spain. Well, it's a 4 3 3 with two out and out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. The England first 11. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. And so the battle commences. Jenny. Here's Paredes. Might really be able to trouble them here. But on you go, says the referee. Advantage. And space to cross it. And making the run to the inside. And up for grabs off the keeper. So a deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. It's a short one. Bon Mati. Chance here. Didn't fool the keeper. taken short well that's how to do it inside your own penalty area Daly space on the flank is she going to finish that is a really disappointing effort goodness me on that occasion just didn't make the right sort of contact should be testing the goalkeeper from that sort of range Bonmati. 
Alba Redondo. Really vital interception. Kelly. Now with bronze. And in the perfect position to read it. Theme emerging of wasted possession. Nicely struck, and there it is. She's etched her name in history as the scorer of the opening goal in the final. You've simply got to enjoy these moments. Well, here it is again, and just look at this. It's such good technique. It's a wonderful strike from that range. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Oh, no. Mariona. On attacking possibilities, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, it's been quite clear that England have been second best in terms of possession, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Yes, really good without the ball, and the all-around performance levels have been high. And the ruling is offside here. to Rome on the wing but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending Stanway promising possession this well possibilities in the centre out of play for a Spain throw in Ivana Andres, now with Puteas, Jenny, and they're moving the ball neatly enough, just looking for that decisive pass, offside, a tight one. Strong but fair tackle. Paredes. Bon Mati. This could level it. And the keeper there to deal with it. The first half here comes to an end. So they get the ball rolling once more, and it's advantage England after the first half. Let's see what the second 45 has in store for us. Aitana Bonmati. Might really be able to trouble them here. Body on the line. Ella Toon. Chloe Kelly. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Oh, 
prepared to take on the shot. Couldn't grab hold of it. Danger averted for now. Well, I don't think they've been at it today, but maybe, just maybe, that great save will inspire them now. Can they hit on the break? A oh, terrific pass. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Chloe Kelly. Well, she's very effective in this sort of role, holding the ball up. And a strong tackle. So a half an hour remaining. Bon Mati. Moving into the advanced position. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. An alert piece of defending. So a personnel change then. How about the short corner? Terry Abeyera. And a body in the way. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Now can they counter clinically? My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. Abeyera. Atenea. We're getting the ball forward, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Well, able to close down the short. Mariona. Bon Mati. Excellent vision. Real chance. Can they slot it home? And she grabs it at the second attempt. Well, you can sense the relief, can't you? It's a really good initial stop, though. Stanway. Russo. How can they nudge in front late on here? Might take the lead. Can she put it away? It's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever back heel. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider Bon Mati oh fancy footwork and a poor ball Ivana down by a goal this could be the final opportunity to snatch something might be dangerous 
Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. And they will make the change now. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? Well, still an issue here. Threat over for now, it seems. Breaking at pace. Opportunity it is. And the final whistle is music to the ears of every England fan. Listen to this. England are the world champions. And this is what these players have been dreaming about for quite some while now. Just look at the emotion on these players' faces. Great scenes here. Yes, the dream has been realised. England's Women's World Cup winners for the first time. And what a moment this is for Serena Wiegmann and her players. Just listen to the noise when this trophy is lifted. What a moment this will be. England, the European champions, and now the world champions as well. It is quite the double, and they're entitled to celebrate for as long as they want. Really top-class scenes here. Look at the players taking the trophy over to the fans. They've played their part as well. These are great moments for the players, the fans, and the coaches.